are going to do two or three vlogs crammed into one vlog here at Walt Disney World on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving week. So today we are obviously here at the Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow, Black Friday, we'll be going to the opening of Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. And then on our third day, I'm pretty sure we'll probably be wind up doing uh, Animal Kingdom. Haven't really had a chance to showcase Animal Kingdom during Christmas time on the vlog. So we'll probably be doing that on Saturday for day three. And again, all crammed into one. So stay with us, stay with us. It's gonna be a fun one. And entering on in, you saw the people, the parking lots were full, the ferry boat was full, the monorail was full. So starting it off right here with day one on Thanksgiving Day. It is a major holiday here at Walt Disney World. First thing is first, Happy Thanksgiving. More on that in a little bit. We are here on Thanksgiving Day, and I want to take a look at some of the wait times right now. We just entered the park. It's about uh, 9.38, 9.39. Pirates is already a 50-minute wait. Big Thunder is 45. Jingle Crew, 70. I honestly am surprised that one is not higher. Uh, Haunted Mansion, 45. Uh, let's see, what is that? Peter Pan 75, that's kind of average. And then heading on over into Tomorrowland, about 50 minute wait over there. I'm not gonna lie, it's a national holiday, it's a big holiday here. I'm surprised it's only an hour and a half into park opening and uh, wait times are already crazy. It's gonna be a fun few days here in this vlog, so stay with us. So stay with us. And if you are new, by the way, we are not here on vacation. We live here. We live about 15 minutes from Walt Disney World. So it's just a quick hop and a skip for us. So we're here all the time. So make sure to hit that subscribe button for us. We would greatly appreciate it, everybody. But let's have a fun day. Happy Thanksgiving. Can you say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving. Do you want to show off your shirt? Very pretty, Olivia. Amelia, do you want to show off your, your, your Thanksgiving dress? Very pretty, Amelia. Happy Thanksgiving! Pretty! Alright, your turn. Good job. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Let's go have a great Magic Kingdom day. And for the record, we are not doing Genie Plus today. Uh, we're just kind of going with the flow, seeing how the rides are, and just, you know, being here at Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving. All we can ask for, really. Walking down Main Street still, but we forgot to say hi Happy to Carrie. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! First things first, while the girls are happy and not messy, we are going to try and find a photo pass photographer to take a family picture of us here on Thanksgiving 2023. And I think we found one right by Mickey and Minnie, Cinderella's castle in the background, lovely wreaths. All right, first ride of the day, People Mover. It was showing a five minute wait. Looks like it still is a five minute wait, so thumbs up. Thumbs up on our books. Oh, yeah. All right, ride number one. Ride number one. And Olivia said, no dance parties. Reminder, no dance parties. Walt Disney's vision for Epcot. Obviously not the Epcot that we have today, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Olivia's favorite rides here at Magic Kingdom, and if you did not know, they have a holiday overlay for Tomorrowland Speedway. You can see, yes, at night you can see some of the, the lights and decorations that they have. It's pretty cool. And I still can't believe we've only been on Tron once. We have to make a better effort of going on this ride again. I still think it's the best ride in Walt Disney World. See you later, Tron. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but we are inside Space Mountain currently at the moment. Comment down below if you guys have been on this ride while well, the lights are on inside. It's pretty cool. Okay, one ride done. We're going where? To Ariel. The Little Mermaid, our next stop. It was a five minute wait when we came here. 
it's now a half hour or 25 minutes. So once we actually get there, we'll show you and we'll go ride ride number two. Tomorrowland Speedway, very crowded over here. Trying to see what the wait time is at the moment. Ah, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. That is one ride here at Magic Kingdom. If it says it's a 35 minute wait, it's probably a 45. It's one of those rides. Look, the line goes all the way even outside the queue. It's a long line for Tomorrowland Speedway. We've been in the park for about an hour now. Crowded. Thoughts? Yeah, I was gonna say thoughts on the crowd holiday, levels. The holiday crowds are here. It is like crazy crowded right now, but still fun. It is still fun, and we're here anyways. We are here anyways. All right, you guys, standby lines. A 55-minute wait. We are unfortunately going to wait in this one for the girls. Oh, yeah. However, we just filmed this ride on one of our more recent vlogs, so not going to include any footage from here. But we'll we'll let you guys know how long it actually takes. Hey guys, wash your hands! Alright you guys, I did start the timer a little bit late, but maybe by a minute or two. Here's what we have. 20 minutes. 20 Within 25 minutes, we are getting on the ride right here. All right, everybody, here we are. We are on. We'll see you after. All right, we are currently stopped at this scene towards the end of the ride. Never noticed the frogs have little kissy lips. Watch. They're moving. Your capsule will begin moving immediately. Never noticed that before. Oh, man, here we go. A classic ride here at Magic Kingdom. Love the Little Mermaid. I think right now we are going to try to find something to eat. Mobile order. Light lunch because we're doing a Thanksgiving dinner at home there today. All right, we just had a mobile order here for Cosmic Rays. I'm gonna try and find a seat outside. We will update you guys on wait times and overall how the park is here for this Thanksgiving day after we eat lunch. We're hungry. Okay, everybody, just had lunch right behind me here at Cosmic Rays. Hit the spot, not the best, hit the spot. But we will start over in Tomorrowland, or not Tomorrowland, Fantasyland. Dumbo, a 60 minute wait currently at the moment. The meat Ariel is 80, Little Mermaid's 45, uh, Space Mountain, 85 minute wait, Buzz Lightyear, 75 minute wait. Going on over, Peter Pan, 90, Haunted Mansion, 60, Jingle Cruise, 2 hours, 120 minute wait, Pirates is a 30, that's not too bad, honestly, Big Thunder Mountain, 95, it's getting a little crowded here at the Magic Kingdom. I think we're going to uh, head over to the other side of the park at the moment, Adventureland. Hi, Amelia. What are you doing? She's nuts. I think we're going I think we're going to head to the other side of the park all the way over to Adventureland and we'll uh, see what we going over there. As we head on over to Adventureland, just include some raw footage here for you guys so you can kind of experience what it's like to be here today on Thanksgiving in 2023. Lots of people. Yeah, so they don't actually have like a dedicated Thanksgiving Day parade like they do for Easter. It's just a regular Festival of Fantasy parade, which is still a great parade, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of people, a lot of people in the hub watching, or waiting I should say, for the parade. You're in the parade, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie! I think we're gonna head all the way down to Town Square and try to get a spot. The spot that we're at, you can watch behind me and in front of me. Beast and Bell. Let's see who else we have on this parade today. Cinderella, well you can't see it right now. Tiana, Naveen. Oh, I see Ola. That must mean two other princesses are there, yep. Anna and Elsa. Olivia, you 
saw the princesses. And Rapunzel. Amelia, Ariel. There she is. And her dingle hopper. Peter Pan and Captain Hook on this one. Yo ho. Tinkerbell. Hopefully Maleficent does another one of those. My favorite. Yeah. It's a showdown. <laughs> Come on, Maleficent, give me one more. That tail's right above us. That is so cool. And now you have the seven dwarfs. And Snow White. Snow White! Amelia, Snow White! Donald was just getting there. Dale. And here they come. Mickey and Minnie. Well, everybody, ooh, too close. That'll be it for today's portion of the video, Thanksgiving. Great Thanksgiving day. It was good, the crowds are here, so. The crowds uh, are here. But, we still got a little taste of this. Yeah. yeah, we did. Now we get to go home. This will kind of be our, our new family tradition. You go to Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving morning, and then you go home and cook for a Thanksgiving meal. So that's next on our list. Not in the vlog, but next in the vlog is will be opening day for Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. Ooh, so excited. So, so we'll see you tomorrow. We will we will see you tomorrow. Is she under three? Yeah. Do you see what I see? Yeah, it sounds like a Christmas song. Do you see yeah. what I see? Talking about the Christmas tree though. No songs right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I bring you the Epcot Christmas tree. Hello. <laughs> Ahoy, happy lids! <laughs> if you watched our last, if you watched the last vlog, you'll understand that reference. Happy holidays! You can see behind us the Christmas tree here at Epcot. We are officially at the Festival of the Holidays 2023 opening day. It's raining. It is raining. It is raining. This is day number two. It is Black Friday, aka the day after Thanksgiving. So we were walking this way right in front of Connections Cafe and Creation Shop. And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, something feels different here. And it is. The, the wall's moved back. Whoa. The wall has moved back. I stepped on something. It used to be pretty much like right where Carrie is at here. They pushed it over, so now we get to see all the trees. Yeah. It's the small details nowadays that matter here at Disney. The small win. It means we're one step closer to Epcot being finished. We are here opening day for Festival of the Holidays. In just a little bit, I'll go over the wait times and the park right now. 
But when we're entering here today, we're entering uh, about 4.15 p.m. today. A lot of people were kind of leaving the park because it just started raining. So hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully that means the wait times have gone down. We took a little sneak peek on the drive in and Soren was 70, right? Yeah, it was like 70 and so was uh, uh, Frozen Ever After. It was also like 75. Yeah, so, so not ideal, but it's opening day, it's Thanksgiving week. Things are gonna be busy. You know one thing that I forgot to do when we entered? I forgot to grab a passport. Oh. It was raining. Wanted to get the girls covered. Yeah, we'll we'll grab one somewhere along the way. Okay, so right now we are in the United Kingdom. I'll throw up the wait times. Currently at the moment right here, the rain definitely has made the wait time a little bit lower. Anyways, I digress. So starting at the top of the park entry, Spaceship Earth 20. What I'm excited for and we are going to be doing tonight, living with the land, glimmering greenhouses. They have a Christmas overlay with the Christmas lights. We went on the last year, awesome. We're gonna do that tonight for sure. Soren over California is a 45 minute wait. Remy's 95 minute wait at the moment. No surprise there really. Heading on over to Norway, 105 for Frozen. Great ride. I understand it's 105 minutes. One of Olivia's favorites, Mission Space. Not my favorite at all. Hurts my tummy. <laughs> I like Mission Space. I know you like Mission Space. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We're gonna hang out in this area for a little bit because in maybe 15, 20 minutes, Father Christmas is coming out and performing. And if you're not familiar with what that is, well, here you go. Greetings. I have been known by many names. There are some who call me Santa Claus. But here in the United Kingdom, I am Father Christmas, and I bid you welcome. We are here today to toll the devil's knell one stroke for every year since the birth of Christ. Now, let's see, where was I? 65, 66, 67. Oh dear. <laughs> I seem to have lost my way. <laughs> Excuse me, my dear. Could you tell me, what is the year? 2023. 2020, 2023. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, it is true. But they say, time does fly when you're having a good time. <laughs> 2023 uh, minus 67. That zooms. That means I have to ring this blizzard bell another 1,956 times. <laughs> oh, well. Say we set this down and pick it up a little later, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amelia, the Christmas carol I was singing earlier. Now, that Christmas yeah. carol, like so many of today's Christmas traditions, originated in the United Kingdom. In fact, it is not uncommon to see groups of carolers, much like yourselves, standing on a street corner, much like this one, singing the songs of the season. Oh, oh. Oh, that gives me an idea. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Hello, my little friend. How are you? Oh, I like to hear that. And what is your name? Are you on the good list? Yes, yes. Oh, I knew that. Yes, you know how I knew that? Yes, because I wrote the good list. The halls with boughs of folly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Dom, we now are gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Ho ho ho! Wonderful job giving yourselves a round of applause. Yay. Now that's the holiday spirit. Good and job, a round girls. Of applause Good for job. Our ringer, Audra. Stay right there, Audra. I've got something for you. Yes, in appreciation of all of your hard work, I want to present you with your very own Christmas reindeer bell. Yes, there you are, my dear. Now, Audra, this is no ordinary Christmas reindeer bell. No, this is a magical Christmas reindeer bell. Would you like to know how it works? I thought you would, yes. Yeah? Now, on the morn of Christmas, when the whole world is a slumber, dreaming of sugar plums and candy canes, you, 
are going to take up and you're going to tippy-toe ever so quietly Daddy, into your parents' bed. Oh. And you're going to take that precious bell and you're going to hold it above their heads and you're going to shake that bell as hard as you can! <laughs> Great holiday season indeed. <laughs> oh, but before I go, I would like to indulge you with one more wish. Sing along if you would like. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy Holidays, everyone. Thank you so much. My goodness. How wonderful indeed. There are those. I'd look wonderful in there. Well, have them to us. Excellent. Oh, I'd look fabulous in there. Oh, but actually, though, those are lovely on your head, too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Are you ready, my dear? Smile, babe. Smile, Olivia. Show your teeth. Someday you won't have them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yes, indeed. All right, girls are getting all settled. Did you just see Santa Claus, Father Christmas? That's a yes. That's a yes. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, Christmas. We just saw Father Christmas. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. And, and now that we are done, the Christmas lights are on. They were already on before. Oh, they weren't. They weren't. All right, you guys can get a little glimpse right now of the Christmas tree lit up at night. We are gonna go this way though to Living With The Land and go on the Christmas overlay. Hopefully you guys can get a little glimpse right through the trees there. Ah, it looks so good. Looks so good. But we are going this way. After Living With The Land, Olivia really, really, really wants to go on Mission Space. So I probably won't film that one, but we'll do that. And then we'll do a lap around the World Showcase. I still have not found a uh, festival passport, so I will find that and then I'll highlight everything for you guys in the passport. So a lot more to come here on day two. Tis the season for living with the land. All right, everybody, here we go. Just so happened that we wound up getting front row for this. Chicken. Did you see a chicken? But the best part is coming up. Here it comes. Oh, look, they even have little snowmen. Welcome to our two greenhouses. Cute. Hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just, probably just gonna try and just keep this rolling. Just so you guys can really get a feel for how the ride is. For some, it's difficult to imagine a holiday without winter and snow. But one of the most important holiday crops after the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao and chocolate. In fact, cacao is just a fun thing. Wow, this looks so cool. Today, we're all in the world. Mom, you can have the end of it. Ah, this looks so good. Oh, they have even more in the next room. Yeah. It does kind of look like an elongated hidden Mickey. You guys see that? Ear, head, another ear. But we can't forget about this hidden Mickey. All lit up. Just when you thought it was over, there's more. It looks so good, you guys. You gotta see it in person if you're coming to Walt Disney World this holiday season. We got the Mickey reindeer. Olivia was just thinking that there's more Christmas lights this year than last year, right? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm here with that too, thinking about that too. Oh, you was? You thinking about that too? 
was a family thought. Yeah, family thought. I remember them having lights in this section last year. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, the Mickey. Yep, right there. Good eye, Olivia. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. What are you saying? Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Carrie, for pointing this out. I would have missed it. That stocking says Mark. You got, you got Brad, Dolores. Who else is up there? Monty, Les. And just like that, our ride comes to an end. All right, so right now we promised Olivia that she would go on Mission Space. So that's where we are headed to next. I'm not gonna know if going to vlog that. Trying to stick to Festival of the Holidays stuff, but look at how good Spaceship Earth looks. The entrance to the new Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. It's a great night here at Epcot. All right, Mission Space Green. 10 minute wait. Have fun, girls. Bye. Bye. There they go. It's just you and me now, Amelia. Let's go have some fun. The game plan right now is I want to stop over at the Creation Shop for three things. One, it's only a 10 minute wait, so I want to see if they have a festival passport. Two, I want to see the new festival merchandise real quick, try to highlight it real quickly for you guys. And then three, I want to see if they have any Black Friday deals. I highly doubt it. It's worth a shot though, you never know. All right, so right off the bat, it is very, very crowded. Even at like, what time is it? Seven o'clock at night? First thing is first, I want to try and see what merchandise they have for the brand new festival. So it's at the other end of the store, unfortunately. I have seen a lot of people already wearing the Spirit jersey that looks pretty warm. So hopefully they still have some in stock, like that one right there. The girl in the white and the gray. Hopefully they still have those in stock so I can showcase them for you. We do not celebrate Hanukkah, but very nice that Disney does have a Hanukkah section. It is Festival of the Holidays after all, not just Christmas. All right, they changed the section up on me. So if you enter in over here by Test Track, you have the Marvel stuff and Guardians of the Galaxy on the left. You now have the Festival merchandise over here on the right-hand side. And this was a Spirit jersey that I saw. Oh, this is cute. Holiday Cookie Stroll 2023, a nice cookie jar. A very festive Festival of the Holidays mug. Season's greetings. I actually really like this. What's the price? $19.99. For the record, the price on a cookie jar is $39.99. Got one of the spirit jerseys. Here is the front. Here is the back. Epcot International Festival of the Holidays 2023. Ah, it's got all the, the pavilion landmarks on there. That's cool. This is a nice, high quality spirit jersey. I'm a fan. And then a tumbler. Disney is famous for their tumblers by Corksicle. That's actually a really cool top. Festival of the Holidays. Got your Corksicle. This is really cool too. I like the merchandise this year. It's like, it's a gold theme. I can already tell. And for the record, $49.99 for the tumbler. So I can tell if these are festival ears specific. It doesn't say, it just seems to be like a Christmas ears. But I think it does light up because they have these gems on there and I haven't figured out how to turn it on yet. Yeah. They have a lot of these spirit jerseys still left and they are typical price, $79.99. But it's like fur, it's like faux fur. <laughs> It's real nice, high quality. And then one of the last few things here in this section, at least in this section, nice handbag. $85 for the handbag. I spoke too soon. They have a pass holder section for Festival of the Holidays. You have an exclusive pin for pass holders. These don't say pass holder on them, but those are more holiday pins. But they do have this Want to get to a better spot. They have this zip-up hoodie, or jacket, zip-up jacket, Festival of the Holidays, and on the back side you have the hood, Festival of the Holidays, I don't know if you can tell, but it says pass holder there in the buyer it is. Not my favorite. I like the 
regular merchandise better. And I'm seeing a lot of just regular sales, nothing for Black Friday exclusives. I didn't think there would be. Had to check though, had to check. Spoke too soon. This is a sale for Black Friday. It's a Lego Duplo set. One of the only ones I found so far. Was $100, now $60 today. It would make a great Christmas present for somebody I know. Hmm, who do I know? And obviously that would be a Christmas present from Carrie and I. Santa would be bringing a lot of other stuff for Amelia and Olivia. I spy one more holiday deal for the 50th anniversary tumblers. Disney must have a lot of these in stock, even for the black ones. But they were $30, now they are $20. How was it? It was good. She did great, right? Alright, we are at one of the food booths. I'm not getting anything. I just want to highlight for you guys. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. However, here is a look at their menu. Plant-based chorizo, pork, a spiced chocolate cookie. Three bucks. Bad lighting over here, guys. I apologize. Those are the images. I spy a Christmas tree over there. We're gonna do another loop around the World Showcase. And the Christmas tree is still there, Carrie, right? It didn't run away. It did not run away. All right, let me highlight this real quick for you guys. I like doing these. Overall, everything of the map. Lots of options, lots of options. But as you can tell, everything is mostly at the entry of the World Showcase here. Couple things scattered throughout the World Showcase, but the bulk is at the front of the park. Gotta get the monorail. So we're going to take a nice stroll around the World Showcase, enjoy the Christmas decorations, enjoy the ambiance of Epcot at night for Festival of the Holidays. We are not doing any of the food booths in this video. We will be back. We are Walt Disney World locals, as you guys know. That is going to do it for today. We just did a loop around the World Showcase, saw some holiday decorations here or there spread out. Brings us so much joy. Best so time great. of year. Best time of year. Best time of the year. That's gonna be pretty much it for day number two here in this crammed vlog. We will be back here at Epcot. We didn't do everything that you can do here for Festival of the Holidays. We didn't even go to a food booth this time. So, make sure you hit the subscribe button again. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day number three, more than likely at Animal Kingdom. Hey Carrie, are you ready for a wild day? What? I'm ready for a wild Christmas Animal Kingdom kind of day. <laughs> ready for a wild day? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Which park are we at? You say Animal Kingdom? Animal Kingdom? Animal Kingdom. Yeah, alright, let's go. The park has been open up for well over, almost two hours now at this point, and people are still pouring on in here to Disney's Animal Kingdom. But I can already see one of the best things about Christmas Animal Kingdom, the Christmas tree. One of the best decorated trees here at all of Disney World. Eeyore, Piglet, Kanga and Roo, Tigger. Welcome everybody to Disney's Animal Kingdom. So here's the scoop on wait times currently at the moment. Already busy. You guys know it's still a continuation of the holiday week here for Thanksgiving. But looking right at the map, eh, honestly not too crazy considering how busy it was in a parking lot and entering the park. 
You have uh, in Pandora, 60 minute wait for both Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. Kilimanjaro Safari is a 15 minute wait, always a family favorite for us. Something unique that you really can't do anywhere else in the world except Africa. Other than that, Everest is 20, Dinosaur is 5, Triceratops Spin is 5. Besides Pandora, really, the wait times aren't that bad to my surprise. Usually at, with Animal Kingdom, a lot of people don't get here early, early in the morning. They usually get here late morning, early afternoon. So as the day progresses, I'll let you guys know. But right now, we are waiting to see the Christmas characters come out in the, uh, the entrance here, right in front of the Tree of Life. And then we'll figure out what we want to do next. Day three of our Thanksgiving week here at Walt Disney World. All right, when you came here with Amelia during the week, did you notice any other decorations at the park or is it just here in the front? I think it's just in the main, this area. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I, I'm it's just curious. It's not much further throughout, I don't think. But we didn't explore that far. We only went to Lion King and then Dino Land. Look at Olivia. Although, what actually, are you doing? What? Dino area has stuff. Oh, Dino area? It's yeah. okay. Yeah, they have stuff. I don't know how well you guys can hear the music at the moment. Love it. Christmas music, Animal Kingdom style. Of course, now it's not like at a very festive part. And here they come. Here they come. How cool, girls. Amelia, see that? Bear. Bear. Oh, and there's a little duck. And here come the birds, right over there. Uh, Amelia doesn't like those? No. They, they, swoop, <laughs> they swoop down at her last Aww. Oh, you know what? Do you want to see the birds? Oh, what's that? Oh, he likes it, or she likes it. <laughs> Say cheese. These animals intermittently come out throughout the, the day, so make sure you check the My Disney Experience app. It'll give you all the latest information. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a little baby cub. No. Say hi to Snowball. You say hi to Snowball, girls. Go ahead, Olivia. <laughs> Are you really having a good day at Animal Kingdom if you don't go on Kilimanjaro Safari? The answer says no. So that's what we're doing right now. It went up to a 60 minute wait at the moment. Luckily for us, we do get to bring the stroller in the standby queue for most of the line. Jumbo, everyone, and welcome to Kilimanjaro Safari. In order to keep your wait time to a minimum. This wait so far has been brutal. We are still waiting in line for the second time and animals and blocking the road. And we are not moving. And nearly two hours later, we are going on. That's right. Please do not call, shout, or whistle out to the animals. You will find that those noises are more likely to scare the animal away. That sponge material allows it to hold hundreds of gallons worth of water right inside the tree trunk itself. Now on either side of the truck here we have the Maasai giraffe. Now you can tell the Maasai giraffe apart from other types of giraffes due to the more irregular shaped spots that they have. Each spot pattern is going to be unique to each individual, as unique as a human fingerprint. Now that's not the only thing we have in common with the giraffe. Despite how long their necks are, giraffes only have about seven neck vertebrae. In there in the bushes. Felines are the largest oh. type of antelope, standing about six feet tall at their That's shoulders. That's pretty close to us. Yes. Now back to elephants. Elephants will drink with their trunk. Now they won't drink directly through their nose. That'd be silly. But they do fill it up before putting it in their, in their mouth to drink down like a funny little straw. In fact, an adult elephant's trunk is large enough to fit about five gallons worth of water. Well, everybody, for right now, I think we're just going to kind of tour the area for a little bit, walk around, enjoy the scenery. A few things off camera, but that two-hour wait time for safari really put a damper in our time. 
We have some things to do at home, so I hope you guys understand. As we head on out, here's a quick snippet of the wait times at the moment. It's 1.45 right now. I'm surprised that Navi River Journey has the highest wait time at the moment. Crazy. The wait times currently represented are not how it was a few hours ago. It was busy, it was packed. One last look here at the Christmas tree. Okay, so back at home. Little change of scenery pretty quick, I apologize for that. It was nap time for one of my daughters, so hope you guys understand. Uh, but anyways, overall recap throughout the entirety of this vlog. Holiday crowds were here, which is to be expected, honestly. It's a major holiday here at Walt Disney World and in the United States. So crowds were be to be expected. However, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, in my head, I had it to be like a lot worse. And don't get me wrong, some of the wait times that we saw were very high, but I just thought across the board, all of the rides would be extremely high. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you click this video right here. It was chosen especially for you. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.